Hi guys, uh, so today I'm going to be uh, doing a, a bit of an unboxing. Now, it's not brand new, but to me it is. So here we've got the Align G3. Um, this is the, the 5D one, but I'm going to be mounting my D800 on it instead. So let's get to it, just arrived. Good size sturdy box at least. It's like all well, that's it's all English and foreign. Here she is. Wow. Now then, that is a nicely made bit of kit. That, I would say, is as good as or better than a Zenmuse. There's no plastic on there at all. Maybe that. No? So, what have we got? Three axis gimbal. There's a HD, mini HDMI connector here, which I'm assuming it goes in the side of 5D, but in my case, yeah, we'll go inside of the uh, D800. So yeah, the uh, it's I wouldn't say it's light, but my God, it's well made. One well, of the best bits, I think. There's no cables trailing to the top. It's got this spinny um, sort of contact block, meaning that you can have your, your, your AV out and your power don't move when the motor does. That's nice. Let's see what else is in the box. That's with a plate mounting plate, which will, let's see, go on there, with a couple of screws, those will be the, the rail mounts, there's also some, I don't know, harder, softer, Absorbers, some black ones may appear to be harder. Various bits of spare, a little bit of top mount, which goes on the, on the top of the thing to your uh, hot shoe mount. And cables. Camera fixing screw. And a couple of other little bits, which are pointless showing you. Now, these, as you'll probably have figured out already, will go in in here. Oh, have I got this all the way around? I've got this all the way around. That's it. No? Which way is that going? Yeah, that's alright. Okay. Yeah, so that'll go on there. To rail. Now, um, the slight issue I've got here is I'm flying a tarot frame which has a slightly different uh, camera rail spacing. So I'm going to have to, well, it's wider, so I'm going to have to make up a new plate to make it fit. Uh, yeah. Hmm. I'll order some carbon, but it shouldn't be a problem. Half a day with a Dremel, and off we go. So these little jobbies will go for power and AV, I'm not sure which is which, won't bloody it in until I find out. Yeah, 
Liam's little boot here has got a line on it. It's good. No, it's, it's good quality. It's good quality. And, uh, in the next video, we'll have a go with it. But first, I'll show you just in the back of here. Now, I don't know if you can get this on camera, or whether it's going to focus or not. No, it's not going to focus, is it? Never mind. This little circuit in here, um, that is that does two functions. It's got the gyro, which is obviously tells it where to be, and secondly, it transcodes, or whatever you want to call it, the digital HDMI signal into a composite video signal so you can plumb it straight into your transmitter back to your base and it comes out at the top which means you haven't got to have a, uh, an aerial stuck to the back of this or, or whatever. Now on the back of here we've also got now power comes in at the top but you can also have power out from this to power your camera if you should want to. Trigger that goes from this control box round and down to here you can see that little tiny connector and that can be used for triggering your shutter we've also got S bus in so you can uh, control it uh, separately sat don't know what that does data no idea hmm. on the side there's a USB but this little box is, is aluminium as well I'm quite impressed with it Right. Well, watch this space for uh, another another video. See you later.